Welcome to Fantasy Grounds Quick. In this video, I'll show you how to build encounters and add them to your combat maps. To start, locate the campaign folder on the sidebar in the right side of Fantasy Grounds. Here, we can add encounters. Click the Add button in the bottom left. A new window will appear. This is your encounter window. Let's first give a name to our encounter. Next, we need to add some NPC items. The NPC manager can be found underneath the campaigns folder in the sidebar. If you don't have any modules loaded, you might not have any NPCs available. You can create your own custom NPC stat blocks, but I won't cover that in this video. For now, let's load in some NPC data from a module. Head to the library folder on the sidebar, then click Modules. If you don't have any purchase modules, you can click the Store button in the bottom left corner. Once you have purchased, downloaded, or created your own custom modules, click on Activation. Here in the Module Activation screen, we can see all of our modules. Think of modules like digital books. They contain all the information from a rulebook with all of the data organized and formatted for Fantasy Grounds Unity. Once we have the module loaded, the NPC Manager will populate. We can further filter our NPCs by group. To add an NPC to our encounter, simply left-click, hold, and drag the link icon to the left of our NPC name into our encounter window. Once an NPC has been added, we can adjust the quantity, name, token, and faction. Additionally, we can toggle the Item Identified button if we want to keep the name of the enemy a secret from our players. Let's add another NPC item. Perfect! Once we have all the items for our encounter, we can calculate the challenge rating of the encounter and the experience. Let's lock this encounter by clicking the padlock icon at the top right of the encounter window. Now that you have your encounter made, let's add it to our map. Under Campaign, click on Images and select your map. First, Find the area that you want to add the encounter to. Then, drag and drop the record link of the encounter onto the map. A small pin will appear. This is a quick link to your encounter. To set up your enemy tokens, open the encounter window. Under the name of the NPC item is the map placement of the token. Drag and drop the individual tokens onto the map. Now you have the placement of each token saved. When you're ready to run your encounter, simply open the encounter window and press the Add to Tracker button on the bottom left. This will bring up the Combat Tracker window. Let's go ahead and make these tokens visible to our players. In the top left of the Combat window, we can click the Show All NPCs button. Now we can add our players to the combat tracker and add those tokens to the map. You can do this by opening the character selection screen 
and dragging in the players into the combat tracker. Then from the combat tracker, dragging each token onto the map. Alternatively, if a player is logged in and has selected their character, you can just grab their character from the top left of the screen and drag it onto the image. Congratulations! You've successfully created a custom encounter for your campaign. In the next video, we'll take a look at map token options.